I'm joined now by the Secretary of State, Brad Raffensperger, and you are calling for tougher penalties on voting machine tampering. Uh, what's this all about? Well, the federal government has declared elections, election infrastructure critical, and so it already uh, recognizes the importance of making sure that bad actors don't mess with their election equipment. So I believe that Georgia law needs to be very specific and we need to have specific penalties that need to be severe felonies with specific jail time, 10 years when people try to hack into a system, try to gain access, unauthorized access to election equipment. Do you think this is needed before the next election? Are you concerned? Well, I think what we've seen from 2018, 2020, I think there's always going to be people out there that uh, cannot accept the results of the election. And there's people that uh, are bad actors. And we saw that post 2020 in Coffee County. And so I think there need to be significant penalties to make sure it provides sufficient deterrence to anyone that does do this. And if they do do this, then they'll pay the consequences 10 years in prison. Election integrity is going to be big in the 2024 elections. I think everybody's going to be talking about it. And uh, this, I guess, is something preemptive that's needed. Absolutely. And that's why I've called on the General Assembly to introduce and pass you know, legislation to get this on place before the November 2020 to uh, 2024 race. Could you see any lawmakers that would oppose this kind of law? Well, when you go work through the General Assembly, we'll see what that is. But I think that uh, obviously, uh, I think people will recognize the importance of this and the significance and why it is needed. You talked about Coffee County. What's, where does that case stand now? It's an ongoing investigation, and th that's something that the State Election Board is, you know, currently working on. All right. So, ten years in prison minimum. That hopefully that will make people think about. Uh, keeping our elections fair. So what else is going on as you prepare for 2024? The voting machines in Georgia still a talk even years later. We're really looking at just streamlining and accelerating the process that we can move voters through, make sure we keep those lines short. So that'd be one of the things. And then also making sure that we have robust security checks, you know, on the back end with logic and accuracy testing, uh, verifying you know, the machines. But then also uh, increasing the penalties for any bad actors we think is also a, a critically important thing. I guess work on election, election season never ends. Brad Raffensperger, Secretary of State in Georgia, thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome.